So you just got your Easy Equities account and now you're excited because you're about to be an investor. However, you're probably going to make one of the following three mistakes, right? These are very common mistakes for people to make, especially when they're not familiar with what investing actually is. And um, the Easy Equities platform, I love it. It's one of my favorites. But if you're not careful, you'll make these three mistakes with it. Instead of actually just telling you these mistakes, I'm actually going to show you these mistakes um, on my um, laptop by sharing my screen with you. So let's flip over to it and uh, look at uh, three mistakes that you're probably making with your Easy Equities account. Let's go. So we are now on the Easy Equities platform and let's look at mistake number one. Mistake number one, very simple, but very common is that people use the charts that's on easy equities to decide when to invest. You cannot invest using this chart for one simple reason. This chart is showing you history. It's showing you the history of the share price. It's not giving you any economic information. It's not giving you any information about the company. And it's definitely not giving you any predictions all it's showing you is what has happened. So a lot of people lose money because they look at the chart and say, well, this looks good. The company has gone up in value by 7% over the last three months. So that's what the company is doing. And I'm going to buy. And in three months time, I also expect my shares to have gone up by 7%. And then what happens? They lose money. So the way you avoid this mistake is quite simple. You have to do your research no matter how much it sucks to hear it. You have to do your research. Whenever you buy a share, you should have a reason for why you're buying that share. A reason that says, this is why the share price is gonna go up. There's gonna be an event in the economy. There's gonna be an event politically. There's gonna be something that's happening to the company. Um, there's going to be something that's happening in the markets that will make people want to buy this share so the price can actually go up. There has to be a reason why you think the share price is going to go up. What's going to trigger the share price going up? If you do not have that reason, then you have no right buying the share because all you're doing is you're just throwing money away. And I don't think anybody wants to do that. Moving on to mistake number two, people don't pay attention to both the buying price and the selling price properly. So what is the buying price? The buying price basically is the best price that you can get in the market to buy the share, meaning it's the lowest price that you can get to buy the share in the market. The selling price is the best price you can get to sell the share, which is the highest price that you can sell the share for currently in the market when you're looking at those two prices. Now, the two prices, the sell price is always lower and the buy price is always higher than the, than the selling price. And the price difference between them is called the spread. So you can see here with Intimbi Industrial Holdings, um, there's a spread of like seven cents. You can only sell for one rand 10 cents but you're buying for one rand 17 cents. Meaning in order to actually make money from these shares, they would actually have to go up in value quite substantially to just break even the buying price would have to go up by seven cents in order for the selling price to now be one rand 17 cents and if that doesn't happen you wouldn't make money from these shares so even if you bought these shares and they went up in value by let's say three or four or five percent the selling price would still be um, below the buying price of one rand 17 cents, meaning if you were to try sell them, you'd actually enter a loss. So pay attention to the selling price. It is the most important price um, that you look at once you've bought the shares. But to prevent yourself from suffering, pay attention to how it behaves prior to actually buying the shares. If there's a huge difference between the buying and the selling price, understand then that share is not actually traded a lot and odds are you should stay away from it because when you do sell it, you can have to sell it for a very low price in order to get a buyer to buy that share from you. So pay attention um, to that. It's very, very important. And then lastly, what people don't do is they don't pay attention to the trading cost, right? So the investment cost, it's very important to pay attention to, to those. So let me just start with an example for one rand. Okay, if I want to invest one rand, I'm gonna pay five cents. That's the investment cost. Meaning in order for me to make money from whatever trade that I'm making, the share price would have to go up by five cents 
just for me to break um to break even now five cents on a one rand investment that's five percent so the share price would have to go up by five percent for me to just break even and for me to make profits we would have to go up by more than five um, percent but with easy equities the higher your investment um, amounts the lower than the cost you can see if we invest with 10 rands the cost now becomes like nine cents which is pretty good and then obviously if you invest with 100 rands the price becomes 64 cents, which is better. 0.64%. That's something that you can easily make up if, even in a day um, in the market. So just be aware of that. Calculate your investment cost prior to entering the position, prior to making the investments. That's where your investment costs don't hurt you. You're not expecting the share price to do numbers that it actually can't do, thus failing to cover the investment cost. So just that's just something to, to be aware of. So those are the three mistakes that people make. So how do you avoid these three mistakes? As I've already mentioned, number one, do your research. Always have a solid reason for why the share price will go up before you actually buy it. Number two, look at the price, understand how the market works, use sources like Google and YouTube just to teach yourself, or just simply go to my website and um, um, apply for, for like um, free training, free 30 minute training. And then you and I can have a chat and I'll show you how the market actually works a bit more. And then lastly, always make sure that before you actually buy the share or buy the ETF, whatever it is that you're buying, you calculate your investment cost prior and then ask yourself, will this share move up high enough to cover the investment cost and generate a profit based on the amounts that I'm investing? If you can do those three things that I'm telling you to do, then you will avoid those mistakes that lose people money just randomly, and then your investing will go well. That's it for today. Thank you for watching um, this video. Follow on Instagram, or if you're watching on YouTube, definitely subscribe. Um, I'm going to be posting even a lot more videos like this. So it's, I'm pretty excited to, to be doing that. Until then, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.